Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're driving on Mandela Highway and we're driving into the city of Kingston. Now this is the busiest road in Jamaica for two reasons. One, it leads into the city of Kingston, which is the which has the largest population in Jamaica. Over one million people live in the city of Kingston. It's the largest city in Jamaica, it's the capital of Jamaica, so naturally this is the road you take to go to the capital, so it's going to be a very busy road. Secondly, this is the road, Mandela Highway, that you're going to access all the major highways in Jamaica from. So coming up on the left now is the entrance to the Edward Siaga Highway, and you can access it from both directions. This is the turn here on the left and also the PJ Patterson Highway you will access from Mandela Highway. So anywhere you're going basically if you're coming out of the city of Kingston you have to go on those highways if you so desire. But this is the only way to access those highways from Kingston. Also the two largest populations of people outside of the city of Kingston is Portmore and Spanish Town and this road takes you to both areas. All right, now as we drive into the city of Kingston, it was in the news recently that the Prime Minister announced that the Washington Boulevard corridor and the Spanish Town Road corridor should be re-engineered and redesigned. Basically, what he's saying is, as you come off Mandela Highway, which is a very nice road, is you, that road you think you're driving in a first world country that's the quality of the road it's one of the nicest it's probably probably the night or one of the nicest roads in jamaica when you come off mandela highway and go on to washington boulevard it doesn't look like you're entering a major city that's what he's saying he's saying that um Hold on, let me use the exact words. The Prime Minister commented on the mechanic shops and other establishments that line the road. He stated that they should be back office operations. And also you have an area called New Haven that when you enter in Washington Boulevard, you have um, that area so it doesn't really look like you're entering a major city because of the way the area looks so they're going to try and redesign it and re-engineer it so that I guess basically gets a better look let you feel like you're entering a more advanced place so to speak so the main entrance to the city needs to improve the look and also the roads need to be upgraded to help with the traffic that uses the road. So that was what the Prime Minister said about the state of the Washington Boulevard corridor. And Washington Boulevard takes you from Mandela Highway into Kingston and it takes you basically from Mandela Highway to Halfway Tree. And Halfway Tree is the busiest place in Jamaica. So you can imagine when you're on the busiest road in Jamaica heading to the busiest place in Jamaica that's where Washington Boulevard comes in. All right, now as you can see, this section of the road was redone recently. And you see those cars on the right? They're not supposed to be doing that. You see the concrete barricade? So you see how important these concrete barricades are. If the barricade had come down further, persons would not be allowed to make that U-turn. But the barricade didn't, so people take advantage. So you're going to turn onto this busy road, a three lane road coming down with cars traveling so fast. That's very dangerous. Nonetheless, people do it. And it was not one car that was doing it, it was two. That just goes to show you the level of indiscipline on the roads in Jamaica. Okay, now that was what he said about the Washington Boulevard corridor and said similar things about the Spanish Town Road corridor. So when you come off Mandela Highway, you can go on to Washington Boulevard or you can go on to the Spanish Town corridor. So we we um, look forward to seeing what improvements they make because 
once you fix up these areas and fix up the roads it only benefits Jamaica helps for the nation to progress so hopefully they can get that going soon we'll keep you updated on the progress of how it's coming along okay so on the left now is a ferry police station and on the right where you see that fesco sign that's actually the busiest gas station in jamaica and um it's only natural that if the busiest road in jamaica would have the busiest gas station in jamaica look there is a line to get into the gas station but what is a bit surprising is that the gas station was recently built i don't think that gas station is open a year yet so you have to wonder you know why did it take so long to put a gas station on the busiest road in jamaica i don't know it's just a bit surprising when you think about it all right this is a bridge for cars to get across the road and it's about 3 30 in the afternoon so that will give you an idea of what the traffic is like On the left now is the ferry industrial com com ferry industrial complex. We have a lot of warehouses over there, some massive warehouses, probably some of the largest warehouses we've ever seen. And actually some are still under construction. We have videos up or touring the ferry industrial complex, so you can check out those videos. All right, so we're now coming up to the intersection with Washington Boulevard and Spanish Town Road. All right, so you see you're on a very nice road. You think you're driving in a first world country. So this is what uh, we're talking about. So now we're going to enter on to enter on to Washington Boulevard. So if we turn right here, we'd go on to Spanish Town Road, but we're going to go straight and go on to Washington Boulevard. And that's a New Haven area on the left. I'm not sure if the camera is picking it up, but this is the area that they were talking about, need to be re-engineered and redesigned. a tire shop on the left but there are a lot of when you get to closer to my lines road there are a lot of mechanic shops or garages as they call them in Jamaica all right guys thanks for taking a tour with us remember to like share and subscribe have a good day